Hello everyone, Eevee the Original Master here, and in this video I'll be giving you guys a mini review on the new Super Mario Odyssey update that which came out on April 25th on the Nintendo Labo VR kit. So Nintendo has released a free update on April 25th for, for both The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey that allows players to try out the new Nintendo Labo VR kit. So, I'm here to talk about the Super Mario Odyssey version of it. Since I don't have the Nintendo Labo VR kit, I play... The, the mode without the goggles is because that in Super Mario Odyssey update version of it, you can either play it with the goggles or without it. So if you don't have the goggles, I have my Nintendo Switch right here, you basically hold the system like this and you have to move in a 360 degree angle to maneuver Mario in his journey to, to find musical instruments to give to band members. So that's basically what you do in the Super Mario Odyssey VR Labo Kit update. It's you finding musical instruments and giving it back to band members. And you do that throughout all the three kingdoms that the game has you traveling through, which is the Cat Kingdom, the Seaside Kingdom, and the Luncheon Kingdom. It sounds like a really cool concept, but that's the biggest problem is because it, it does that in all the kingdoms. You don't get no variety. You get the same thing again and again and again. And I don't like doing that because I want some variety, you know? That's what makes games interesting is you have variety. So that's one of my biggest problems with it is that you got a really unique concept that is used throughout the whole update. That's my biggest problem with this update. It's fun, but it's not amusing. Another problem that I have with this update is the constant Nintendo telling us to take a break while playing through the game. What I mean by this is because that in Nintendo's latest games, they have been telling you, hey, maybe you should take a break. I'm like, okay, we don't need to take a break. Like, here I am playing through the game, right? I'm just doing this, then the screen pops up saying, maybe you should take a break. That's another problem that I have with this update, is the game constantly telling me to take a break right in the middle of me playing through the game. And... That's about it. Those were the only cons that I have with this update is the, the lack of variety and the screen telling me to constantly take a break throughout my playing through of the update. So uh, there is actually a 100% requirement for this update. Uh, one requirement to 100% this update, this Super Mario Odyssey VR Labo Kit thing, is to find all the band members' instruments, of course, whether it's a piano, a guitar, uh, a trombone, a piano, a grand piano, whatever. I know I said the piano twice already, but whatever. And um, another 100% requirement is to find the levels 100 coins. There are coins scattered throughout the throughout the kingdoms. You collect all the coins, and you'll get a star added to your file of the amount of band members that you found in your journey. So after you find all the band members' instruments in the Cat Kingdom, the Seaside Kingdom, and the Luncheon Kingdom, you're then taken to New Donk City, where you'll have Pauline and the band members playing Jump Up Superstar, and that's it. And then you get the opening cutscene and the ending cutscene of Super Mario Odyssey. And you can't even do it in VR. Okay, I don't get it. What's the point of having the opening cutscene and the ending cuts in Odyssey, but you can't but you can't experience it in VR. Like you can do this, you can see different angles of the cutscene. You don't get that. I might that's cool and all, but what's the point of having it there if you're I mean it's pretty pointless, you know? But that's pretty much it. That's the update. So my final rating for the new Super Mario Odyssey VR update, I'll give it a a 6.5 out of 10. It's alright. I wish there was more variety to it, but it was fun while it lasted, and I guess I won't be playing this again anytime soon because I've already 100%ed it, so I don't need to see myself playing through it again. But yeah, that's my thoughts slash mini review on the Super Mario Odyssey Nintendo Labo VR update. If you guys have a Nintendo Labo kit and you tried out this update, or if you don't have one, please, in the comments down below, tell me what, what were your guys' thoughts of it. In my opinion, I thought it was okay. It wasn't anything too special. But it was fun for for once. And I won't be seeing myself playing it again anytime soon. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this little mini review. Sorry if my words were jumbling up a bit. I apologize for that. But again, I'll see you guys next time with more content. Bye.